what is up everyone? Today I'm gonna to do something a little bit interesting because usually I do the same kind of videos all the time and it gets a little bit boring. But everyone on YouTube nowadays seems to be doing a hundred layers of something or other. And what immediately sprung into my mind was, it would be pretty cool if someone got a Gundam and covered it in a hundred layers of top coat and see what it looks like. So, I might as well just do that. So I'm gonna hit this Master Grade Wing Zero Custom right here with a hundred layers of top coat and see how it turns out. And just before the comments come in saying, oh, that's a Master Grade, you're wrecking it. As far as I'm concerned, this Master Grade is pretty much wrecked already. I bought this one here in a bag like this for just a thousand yen. Basically, it's pre-owned, so else made it and they made an absolute bollocks out of the paint and stuff and I literally just bought it to harvest parts for this which was my master grade wing but anyway that's pointless let's just coat this guy and see what it looks like so here we go 100 layers of top coat so there we are at 10 coats and so far Mmm, it's not really looking a whole lot different. It shows that you can actually do like 10 coats and not really fuck up your Gundam that bad. So that's surprising. We're now at 20 and he's looking a little bit gelatinous, but still at the same time, this is less than I'd expect. A little disappointing so far, but hopefully the next 80 will help. So here we are halfway and he's looking a bit gelatinous at this point. And not so much in the legs, I'm kind of paying more attention to the torso, shoulders and face. But anyway, this is the last time I'm going to show this before I finish it up. So I'm going to get the next 50 done as quickly as possible, then we'll see what it looks like. So finally, there we are, 100 layers of top coat later, and to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. What it really shows is that they really make this stuff well. Like, it shows how heavy-handed you can be, and it can still look okay. It does look a little bit gelatinous, but not nearly as crazy as I hoped it would. I have to admit, I'm a bit disappointed. I will put a before and after here, what it looked like before I did this to it. Even after a hundred layers, it still looks quite good. It is a bit globular in some areas, he does look a little bit shiny and kind of gooey or something like that, but that's about it. I thought it would be a lot, lot worse. Of course, I could just throw in this one beside him there, but you're not really going to see much difference. It's not the same one, but let's zoom on in for a closer look to see what exactly it has done. So again, it's not that bad. There are some bubbles here and there, especially on the face there, as well as the chest just so I can see right here. But this is mainly because I got a bit impatient halfway through and started doing them in bursts of five. Otherwise, it would have taken me all day, but besides that, it's not so bad. Actually, on the shoulders, like up there, I actually think it looks pretty cool. But it does tell me one thing. I've always wondered if I top-coated these kits after putting on these type of stickers, would it make it look any better? And the answer is pretty much no. I know you can buy, like, Mark Setter and all that stuff to kind of, kind of hide them. But again, I just hate these kind of stickers. Dry transfers and water slides all the time, only. These things are absolute trash. Like I said, I'm kind of disappointed with the way they came out, but I wonder, question number two, does it affect the articulation all that much? Because usually when you're gonna top coat something, you'll top coat all the parts individually, not necessarily it like this. So let's see. No, the head's fine. Arm's fine. Well, it fell off, but it's fine. Yeah, it's not getting in the way whatsoever. Are these like fused shut? No, they're not. Oh wait, maybe this one is. 
A little bit, but not the worst. How about the cockpit there? That seems a little bit stuck, but then again, I don't really remember how this one opens up. It's been a long, long time since I built this kit. Probably about 15 years. Man, it's a while. Now that's not opening. So yeah, again, I am 100% totally disappointed in this. I actually thought this would be a lot more fun than... Wait a minute. Maybe it can be more fun. I know, motherfuckers.